Hello learners. In this video, we'll be discussing the various elements of GCP landing zone. Let's understand these elements one by one. A landing zone is a set of four elements that are required to be designed on Google Cloud in order to set up a secure and efficient infrastructure. The first core element is identity provisioning. This is the process of creating and managing user identities and access to resources on the cloud. Having a well-defined identity provisioning system in place ensures secure access to resources. The second core element is the resource hierarchy. It is a way, of, way to organize resources and group them in UGCP environment. This includes the organization of resources such as projects, folder, and billing accounts. It's important to have a well-defined resource hierarchy to ensure efficient management and organization of resources. Now, the third core element is network which involves designing the network topology, creating virtual private clouds, subnets, and firewall rules. A well-defined network secures the environment and enables efficient communication between resources. And the fourth core element is security controls. Security controls includes creating security policies and rules, firewall rules and access controls. Having a well-defined security strategy ensures the security of your GCP environment. In addition to these core elements, your business might have additional requirements. One such element is monitoring and logging. This includes designing a monitoring and logging strategy that helps ensure all relevant data is logged and that you have dashboards that visualize the data and alerts that notify you of any actionable exceptions. Another important element is backup and disaster recovery. Designing a strategy for backups and disaster recovery ensures you, that your data and resources are protected in case of any unexpected events. For more information, you can refer to the disaster recovery planning guide and Actifio go for Google Cloud. Now, coming to compliance, this includes following the, following the compliance frameworks that are relevant to your organization. It is important to ensure that your GCP environment is compliant with industry regulations and standards. For more information, you can again refer to Compliance Resource Center. Next important element is cost efficiency and control. Designing a cost optimized foundation on Google Cloud and monitoring your cost is very important. It ensures that your GCP environment is cost effective and you are not overspending on resources. For more information, you can refer to the overview of cloud billing concepts and cost optimization on Google Cloud for developers and operators guide. API management, uh, it talks about designing a scalable solution for your APIs. It is important to ensure that your APIs are easily accessible and can handle high traffic. You can refer to APZ API management guide for more information. So the last important element is cluster management. 
This includes designing Google Kubernetes engine clusters that follow best practices to build scalable, resilient, and observable services. You can refer to GKE best practices guide, multi-cluster services, and Antho service mesh guide uh, to get more insights on cluster management. In conclusion, a GCP landing zone is a set of core elements that are required to be designed on Google Cloud in order to set up a secure and efficient infrastructure. These elements include identity provisioning, resource hierarchy, network security controls, monitoring and logging, backup and disaster recovery, compliance, cost efficiency and controls, API management, and cluster management. It is important to have a clear understanding of these elements and how they work together in order to efficiently set up and maintain a GCP landing zone. Thanks for listening. Please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel to learn more about GCP.